the last episode, you saw us take on Barcelona in the Champions League at our place and get spanked 3-1. Bayern did the same in the Bundesliga and they won 3-1 before we took on Hanover at our place and we finally won a game 5-3 goal fest. In this episode, we take on Inter in the Champions League, Hamburg in the Bundesliga at their place and wrap it up, Sparta Prague in our final group game in the Champions League. The Bundesliga, often dominated by a team from the south. The Bavarians have fought off the battle from the team in the yellow and black. But a new power comes from the west. A new force rises from the Rhine. Welcome to Schalke 04. So we kick it off with the most important match or in regards to the Champions League anyway. I think the winner of this is pretty much going to secure themselves a spot in the knockout stages of the Champions League. And look at this. They're in excellent form. We're all over the place. So we're going to be up against it. So I am going to go with this starting lineup. Farman in goal, still nursing an injury. Osipetra, Ritic, Miranda, Casieres, McKinney, Meyer, Goretzka, Knoplianka, Miniamo, and Dorado. In fact, just spotted that. Miniamo, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait for the bench. Need my big boys out there. So our hosts going with a 4-2-3-1. Hopefully, if we, I'd take a point because I think we have the easier of the final games. They've got to take on Barcelona. And we've got to take on Sparta Prague. Uh, obviously, it still gives them hope. Should the, should this pan out to be a draw, they still have a chance. If we lose to Sparta Prague, they need to beat Barcelona, um, which is a tall order anyway. So a draw, I think, could be enough. But uh, hey, we're going to play it the hard way. Icardi gets them off to a cracking start. And as it stands, they are moved up to second. So into come again, Miranda. Mario shot is just wide. When I say Mario, I mean Mario. And into come again. They've looked pretty uh, impressive so far in this match. Obviously, when they took, uh, when they came to our place, they were they were woeful. And when I say woeful, I think they we squeezed the draw out of them. Um, no, we didn't. We didn't squeeze the draw. We beat him. But anyway, can Schalke get themselves back in this? Obviously, we're missing Miranda, um, which does decrease the quality of our side a little bit. I'll take a point. If we can if we can come back from this, I'll be very happy. Obviously, it's a big ask at the moment. Okay, 2-0 down. We're getting walked all over. Let's change it. Made some changes, hopefully they're for the better. They could open us up a little bit at the back. And they might start tonking in the goals. And Nicardi has a great chance there to add to his one already. McKinney. Dorado loses it. McKinney picks it up. Dorado back on his feet. Knocking anchors. Uh, effort is just sorted out. And here come into looking for that third. There he is, Candavera. Um, and they are now cruising to that second spot and they've really hit our goal difference as well there's a lot of bodies in the box and we don't get a penalty and here come Inter on the break they look very very sharp today uh, we look pretty woeful Pavon Dorado Bergstahl's shot is wide Knoplianka Kovetska Bergstahler Dorado come on come on there were bodies there Bergstahler over the top for Dorado. Golly, you would have took that away last season. Look at this. Masonders on his own. On his own. They're destroying us, people. We're destroying us. In fact, I'm going to probably have to make more changes to try and salvage something. Come on, guys. Get one goal and then maybe we can, uh, you know, give them a little bit more problems. No, here come Inter, looking for fourth. It's, uh, come on, break them down. Just trying to see the... So they have a plus three goal difference. We have a negative four. So we draw against Sparta Prague and they lose to Barcelona. That could be uh, something that comes into play. Dorado shot, finally a decent effort, makes the keeper safe. But Inter break from our own corner. A 
last 20 minutes. Bergstahl. Come on, I'm about to make changes. Go. Fresh set of legs down the flanks. Maybe they can uh, create their own partnership. Will Barcelona field a weak inside now that they're already in there? Will they take it easy on Inter? I hope not. Come on, let's get a goal. Let's get one goal. I'll be happy if a one goal, and we can't get the one goal. Bergstahl's effort was close. So as close as you can get without even touching the net. McKinney, Goretzka, Rafina, Bergstahl's shot is wide. Miniamo brought down. Here comes Inter now with bodies everywhere. Perisic, that would have been number four. Farman boots it long. Miranda back to Farman. Last seven minutes, of the, he's well out of his area, so we better make a right decision. And he does not really do that. And here come Inter, Cardi, Perisic, clear. Cliver boots it long to Bergstahl, tries to get Dorado involved, but no joy. And there's the fourth. Perisic rubbing salt in our wounds. And it's been it's been one of those days. It's been one of those days, folks, where we've been ripped apart. Um, I think we must have got Inter on a bad day at their place. So we really got to hope for the best. Against Sparta, Praga, Pan a guy fought down. Come on. How many? There's so many bodies in there that somebody should have tucked that away. And this is the last bit of the match, I believe. Hopefully, it's just going to peter out to to nothing. Yeah. Okay. Let's let, just, yeah, go again, boys. So here we are, folks, with the lowdown of the Champions League scenario that we find ourselves in. Uh, basically, we have to beat Prague. Uh, at our place and hope that Inter Milan don't beat Barcelona because if Inter Milan draw um, that might be enough for them to go through if we cannot beat Prague we have to beat Prague no matter what because uh, a draw will not be good enough because uh, if you look at the goal difference then Barcelona need a stick like nine past them and I don't see that happening so uh, a win for us uh, will will give us the best opportunity and then we'll just have to see what the game is against Inter. So the second game of this video sees us taking on Hamburg in the Bundesliga with a win. We could get ourselves right back into the top three and we could even get technically go for first if we score like eight goals. So my starting 11 for this match looks like this. Farman and goal, Asapecha, Rekicic, Miranda, Chambers, McKinney, Rafina, Kajetska, Miniamo, Mbolo and Bergstahler up front. Our visitor is going with a 4-2, in fact the host, sorry, going with a 4-2-3-1. So, Schalke, get the match underway. Can we get a win? A much needed confidence boost going into the most important game of the season, I think, against Sparta Prague. Uh, but let's not underestimate Hamburg. They're a decent side uh, in mid-table. But a win could get us right into the thicker things at the top end of the table. Mbolo, Goretzka. Mbolo crosses it in there. Miniamo, finally. <sighs> Hopefully you can... That's the first of many, boy. It's the first of many, right? Come on. That's what I need, some confidence. Bergstahler. Brought down. Here come Hamburg looking for themselves. Get themselves right back in it. Romero's shot is wide. As we hope to try and get a second. Gerhetska. Chambers. Bergstahl brought down. Once again, Hamburg break. It must be on a counter effect, a counter uh, tactic or formation or style of play. Rafina. Miniamo sets up Bergstahler. Oh, he nearly just found himself some space but couldn't get the shot off. And Mathena collects. Hamburg. Dolvia's shot is wide. Chambers. Goretzka. McKinney. Chambers gets a cross in there. Comes out to Sapecha. Goreg. Goretzka. Rafina's shot drifts wide. Too much curve, boy. Too much curve. Wallace. Govia. Romero, again, why? Don't give him too many chances because he can put it in the back of the net. I know he can. No, he can. 
as we creep and go to the halfway mark. McKinney's shot from the free kick. Straight at Mathena. That's your half. So, second half gets underway. Still got our noses in front. Through that Miniamo goal, justifying his nod ahead of Pavon, Knoplyanka, Klaivert, and the like. Can we find a second? Embolo out wide. Goretzka. Rafina, Goretzka, Burstall, Embolo. Chambers, Goretzka. Build up play by Schalke. Gets to Embolo. Cross it in there. Burstall and nearly. He's good in them tight positions. He sometimes slips it in there with a deftest touch. But not this time. Embolo brought down. Here come Hamburg. Romero. <sighs> Again, giving him too many chances. Hope he's got an injury or he's just running out of puff. And Hahn is off. Gotta watch out for this Bobby Wood fella. He's also pretty pretty handy. As Hamburg try to build. And Wallace and somebody else has a shot. But it goes over. We live and breathe again. 65 minutes gone. Hamburg applying some pressure. We could do with a second goal. Wood. Oh, Romero. We give him too many chances. He finally sticks it in the back of the net. So, let's... Um, so, no pussyfooting around. Last 20 odd minutes. Throwing all the dice at him now. Going attacking as well, which could be uh, dangerous. And Dorado gets his first shot of the night from the bench. Yeah, we're down 10 men, folks. So let's see how we pan, how that pans out. They're all going attacking though, because we're hard as nails. It's not fair. So, are they, are they in a similar position to us? I think they might be. No, no, they're not. He was on the bench. It'll be a corner for Hamburg. I'll take a point at this stage. I will take a point. Last five minutes. It's worrisome. Get rid of it. Dorado. Bergstahler. Rafina shot gives us a corner. Let's get some, something excited about the last few minutes of the game. But it amounts to nothing. And here come Hamburg with their own bit of attacking play. Um, a Bau shot. Kirchhoff breaks for Bergstahler. He's got Dorado with him. But he kind of stumbles at the last minute. Goretzka tries to set a pav on. But here come Hamburg. They look the more menacing at the moment. Goretzka. Dorado on his own. Loses it. Very, very in a dangerous position. Romero. What's going on? Is this the... F no. It's, I don't even know what's going on. Looking at the clock. Miranda. Bergstahler. Loses it. Oh, my goodness. Barrera. Romero's shot goes wide. Farman. It's end-to-end -end at the moment. Pavon. Can someone get the last? No, please don't. Oh, golly. Slow the crap down. I can't keep up. Miranda punts it long towards Dorado. Uh, eventually comes to Kohetska. To Bergstahler. Sets up Rafina. Oh, if there was a body there, it would have been in the net. That's surely going to end in a 1-1 one, one draw. I'll take it. We're down 10 men. Uh, not through discipline, but through injury. Hopefully, Knoppelianka is not too uh, badly injured. So here we are with the final game of this video, where we take on Sparta Prague in the Champions League. And I think it's pretty much we've got to win this one to try and keep our dream alive of getting to the neck out of the net. So here we are with the final game of this video as we take on Sparta Prague at our place to try and secure uh, our place in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Uh, but we are dependent on what happens at the new Camp. So my start 11 for this match looks like this. Pretty attacking. Uh, Farman, Osopecha, Rekicic, Miranda, Chambers, Rafina, Kahetska, Pavon, Meyer, Cliver, Dorado up front. We're going attacking from the get-go. Ain't mucking about. And our visitor is going with a 4-3-3. So let's go. Schalke get the match underway. Come on, boys. A win is minimum for us. We need other stuff. Obviously, we don't want to... We do not want... If we lose, we're definitely out. A draw. Yeah, pretty much pretty much out if we draw. Chambers. Dorado. Kohetska shot straight at Berda. Um, and if they do somehow beat Barcelona at the new camp, then pff, we, yeah, there's no luck for us. Sparta opening up with a few uh, chances to keep us on our toes. 
Free kick Goretzka shot is it's not a bad one. It's not too bad. Rafina free kick on the other side. Rechich sets up Goretzka. Cliver Miranda shot is wide. Trying to keep my eye on that Barcelona game, but really I need I need something to happen here. Twenty minutes gone. Rafina corner comes back to Goretzka. Maya Rafina and here come Sparta. Rus Rusicki, Thomas Rusicki's in there still. I don't know how old he is. Must be like 50. Um, but he had a good shot there. Not bad. Keeping us on our toes as well. Rafina, Gohetska, and Pavon gets us the elusive goal that we need. It's and Right now, it pushes us up into second spot. And the pressure is now on Inter to try and get themselves back into the mix. Um, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. A second goal will be great. And Dorado gets it. Let's get that goal difference back a little bit. So 2-0 up. Um, we're doing our bit. We are doing our bit. So we need Barcelona to do their bit. Rosicki's shot is over. And as it stands, we will be going through. But one goal in the new camp could change everything. And it's happened. We are now at the at the mercy of the gods as Barcelona have got the noses in front. I mean, sorry, to take that back. Inter Milan have got their noses in front at Barcelona. So second half gets underway. Uh, despite us winning, it looks like our European or well, Champions League uh, destiny is going to end if the results stay like this. A little bit of a, a, a what's it, consolation would be Europa League football. Um, I'm still hoping Barcelona can can find something to uh, to change this and change our destiny. And at the minute, it's not looking promising. Uh, no matter what, how many goals we stick in past as we score on the queue uh, today. It's not going to change it. I don't, unless they draw. I still I think a draw still is not. A draw for Inter would not be good enough. And it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a math problem to figure out. The only, I think, scenario would be if we draw and they lose. But that scenario is not happening. Come on, Barca. Come on, Barca. Come on, Barca. And tell Ben Haim scores for Schalke. Make it... Uh, a little bit more competitive and still we are focusing on the Barcelona game. I've put my cursor right there. Um, but while we wait, I'm going to go counter. But this is what we're looking at right here. As we eke toward the last 13 minutes of the match. Still looking. It's not looking good, I'm afraid. It's not looking good. Last seven minutes, we look and hope for something crazy at the new camp. As Schalke try to add to their tally, Dorado's shot is wide. And yeah, it's we are now at the mercy of time added on. 90 minutes gone. It looks like, again, it's not too bad. Europa League football will be will be into the sort of knockout stages there. Maybe we can give that a go. But uh, it would have been nice to have to get into the knockouts of the Champions League. But hey, you know, we're a work in progress, aren't we? Miniamo dances around a few players. That's full time for us. It looks like we're out. So let's take a look. And there it's confirmed. We've tumbled out of the Champions League at the group stage, which is pretty piss poor. They're going to be pissed with me. So, folks, that result wraps it up for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll probably come back for this cluster of fixtures here. Sandhausen in the DFB, Hoffenheim in the league, and Dortmund in the league. It'll be around about when the transfer window 
Oh, in fact, that's around about where the winter break is going on. So um, there might be some transfer activity as well. And hopefully we'll have some news about the Europa League. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. The Pride of Edinburgh, featuring Hibernian. And Reach for the Summit, featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.